Derek, we can go on. Second Kings chapter 6. If you be there, say amen. Today is one of the days that God is going to astound us. And uh, his hand is going to work something for us. Last week on Wednesday morning, I was preparing myself to, to minister to the children of God. And uh, the Spirit of God through into me a message that really took me by surprise. And he just threw a statement, a statement overcoming the frustrations of failure. And I said, Lord, what? Because as a leader, as a leader, time and again, look here, don't mind. As a leader, time and again, you can never be at peace when there is danger, anarchy, and jeopardy amongst the people that you pastor. It will take it will take an irresponsible leader, an irresponsible shepherd, never to find solutions for the circumstances at hand. We have to find a remedy that, 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 op, that ministers to the circumstances in people's lives. We have to leverage on the word of God to receive some remedy for cumbersome uh, circumstances. Because some people are dealing with things that are spiritual. That can never be combated until we ascend in a spiritual dimension that supersedes the heights where the enemy has bound them. And some of them are going into the depth of anarchy and frustration. And, and we cannot combat that until there is, there is a dimension in the realm of a spirit that the leader has to capture or operate under. Ladies and gentlemen, from the time of the creation of the universe, and from the time of the fall of Lucifer, the time of the paradise lost, when Lucifer was in heaven and he wants to, you know, he did not even to dethrone, but he wants to have a parallel government against God. He's doing all that and everything he does from, from the cause of darkness, he does it to attack the human race. Because Satan realizes that the human being, the, that humanity is the is the zenith of God's creation. That is the spark of God's love. Number one, God speaks in his triune. He sits and he speaks and he says, let us make man. Not even in the, in the trinity, he sits in his godliness. I would borrow these two words, but I won't pronounce them, I will spell them. God sits in his C-O-U-N-C-I-L. God sits in his C-O-U-N-C-I-L. And he determines his C O U N S E L. No, no, no. He sits in the council. And he says, Let us make man. 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 But in the creation of man, the C O U N S E L is not planned to, stay, to rule in heaven. God has also cut a body, He has thrown the universe into place. That means man is going to operate on the, on the terrestrial ball, which is the, which is the earth of the world. So God makes the home of a man before He recreates the man for the home. Look at me, let us go scholarly. Now, he creates the home of a man before he creates the man for the home. Because God is not random, coincidental, or haphazard in his creation. He operates in a dimension of intellect and understanding. So God in his super finite mind he determines to make man. Now he says, let us make man in our own image. 
transformation. And after our own likeness. And the Bible says male and female. Bible created he them. Now God designs the universe. And plants man on the universe. Now Genesis 3. Here comes a serpent. Bible says it was crafty and subtitled. And it comes to the woman. To sweet talk side talk dissuade her from the purpose of God. Because to catch a man you target a woman. And to catch God you target a man. Target a man. Uh, don't mind we are preaching he will be delivered. You, you get it? For, for you to catch a man you trap him with a woman. And to target God you, you trap him with a human being. That is why for God so loved the world. And he gave his only begotten son. But for God to win man. He has to release a son uh, from a dimension of godliness. For God's love is on the human race. God loves people more than anything. God loves people more than anything. That is why concerning your deliverance, God will employ, deploy and empower vessels of vessels in human form and he will anoint them enough to veto and attack every demonic satanic power that's why this is the day that the Lord has made we shall rejoice and be glad in it the devil is a liar the devil is a liar the devil is a loser the devil is a loser we have the blood of the Lord the name of Jesus and the word of God every time we declare the word hell begins to tremble because in the beginning was the word the word was with God and the word was God you see the same was with him from the beginning there was nothing made that could be made without the word of God that means the word has to be spoken at the genesis of any occurrence for anything to occur the word has to precede it has to precede it is the prerequisite for any happening divine now understand what I'm talking about there are dimensions godly dimensions is a dimension of creation, redemption, and regeneration. Because when we study the triune of the Trinity, that, that dominates over the tripartite of the tricatomy. You get what I'm saying? The Father, in his office, manages creation. The Son, in his office, manages redemption. The Holy Spirit, in his office, manages regeneration. Uh, so there is nothing the devil does that doesn't have a superior office that can veto and fight and recover the loss. I wish I was talking to you. This day let heaven and earth be a witness that the devil has lost the game. Let heaven and earth be a witness that the powers from strikes shall be rendered powerless by the blood and by the word of God. Somebody holler hallelujah. Somebody holler I understand. The devil is a liar. When I woke up this morning I woke up prepared because even today there is a battle between God and Lucifer there is no way that Lucifer can prevail against God when the enemy began to make weapons when he began God said it's okay I met the blacksmith I met the blacksmith that burns the coals and make 
takes a weapon and I make the destroyer that causes a havoc but no weapon formed against you but shall have the power you get what I'm saying I am the maker of your attacker I am the father of everything that exists I, I carry the breath of everything that nature has I carry the blueprint of everything natural whether animate or inanimate that means whether the enemy manipulates into a frog the power of Jesus will kill the frog whether he manipulates through a lion the anointing of David will tear it aside. Tell your neighbor the victim shall become a victim. Tell them the victim shall become a victim. Whether they are cursing, there is not a word that carries ultimate, legitimate, unquestionable authority. Like this word, my auntie said, I will never get married. The devil is a liar. This word has said, none of them will lack her mate. Even if they be with you, they are wasting time. I confer upon you. I put your victory on you. This is a different twist to your life. Whoever is fighting against you, you will be disappointed. And three men, in Dallas, say men, in Dallas. You can never be a failure Not with God You can never be a failure At least not with God We serve a God Who never fails We serve a God Who never fails He is a wonder, he is a wonder He is a wonder, he is a wonder The wonder worker The way maker The promise keeper The light in the darkness the rock of ages the ruler of everything the king of Zion the ancient of days the light of the world the savior redeemer messiah Jehovah Jireh Jehovah Rea Jehovah Shikin Jehovah El Shaddai Elohim Adonai mighty God Jesus Somebody shout and clap. If you have a hand clap, clap it. Don't let the devil destroy you. Clap your hands on your people. And shout unto God. With the voice of triumph. Help them to save me. You get what I'm saying? There is no possibility for the enemy to win God. The devil will never win God. If that registers in your mind, you will never fear anything. The devil will never win God. Your senga, your auntie, there's no way she can win your dream. If she was powerful, her children would have gone to school. They would have gone higher. This is the sign that proves that how it's got his power. Failed and disappointed. So I speak to all what they do. Be quiet, fire. Fire for times. You the devil is a liar. 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 God has created an antidote to sin. God has created an antidote to sin. There is an antidote to sin. There is an antidote to weakness. When the enemy brought sin, God brought antidote an antidote called the blood what can wash away my sins nothing but the blood of Jesus
God has created an antidote to any calamity, any cumbersome agitation, aggravating, pulverizing, monopolizing, confusing, discombobulating circumstances. 